Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough platform perils the final main stage of the game and some people consider this one to be the hardest namely because of these guys yeah these crushes uh, they don't care who you jump on them with as a matter of fact the only way to knock them out is with the barrels and also there's a secret cannon over there which isn't really so secret but that is how you get to it <laughs> There's a platform that moves to the side just under that first platform and oh shoot, why did I eh, eh whatever. I think I've got enough lives, so I'm not not too worried about this this loss here. <laughs> oh wait, where does this where did that poop me out from? Um oh okay, way out over here, huh? huh, huh okay. So yeah, that was right by the beginning, and we go. <laughs> oh no you don't. Oh no, you don't. I'll take this barrel with me. Who knows when a crusher uh, will be coming out of nowhere. Oh, I can just do that. That's, that's another fun way. <laughs> uh, I think I'd like to do that and then that so I don't have to jump over the zinger at a high point. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a pretty fun stage overall though, because it's very tense the whole way through, considering that you're almost always on some sort of platforming segment that can lead to doom. Uh, oh, okay, that worked. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw this, because I know you're there. And I'm gonna dodge you, because I know you're there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So far, so good, I guess. Yee! I've got the letter O. <laughs> you killed the B. <laughs> well, Zinger, you know, they're Bs. I just, yeah, yeah, I yeah. use both acronyms or whatever you want to call it for, for it. Uh, yeah, whoop, whoop. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So yeah, we're not. not we're in a segment that's kind of similar to something coming up to the end with a whole bunch of crushes of doom. Um, I don't know if I really need to... Oh, okay, that one just falls. I, I, I was just thinking there's a bonus area down below something. Really later on, maybe it was. Woohoo! <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's later on what I thought it was. Okay, and this is the segment that I was talking about here. And this is pretty fun. You probably want to use Donkey Kong for this one. But it is very hard though, so <laughs> so it's it's one of those things that you gotta kind of look around and just see ahead. Like maybe if there's not a crush us somewhere, there's a crush us somewhere else, oh, like that. <laughs> just gotta kind of prepare yourself. And it's, this is why I prefer Donkey Kong for this, is because he's got that overhead throw. Don't worry about the G just yet. See, see, see. Oh shoot! Oh, th actually, that's fine. This is what I need to do. I need to. Oh, whoa, that was close. I just recognized it at the last minute there, but that could have been a lot worse. But I guess I wasn't as hard as I remember it. Well, <laughs> it is still kind of stressful-ish. Uh, it was here, right? Yeah, of course it was there. My my eyes can't be fooled. <laughs> Victory is mine. And it should poop me out right by the exit, right? Right, right? Yeah. And you got some final battles with Clomp there, if you don't take that route, I guess. And there we go! Needless to say, I'm heading over to Cranky's Cabin before the boss. You're lucky you caught me, I was just heading out. You're never heading out, I'm always here. I mean, you're always here when I get here. You never had a movie like this when I was in video games! It's just too many... Too many frames nowadays, yes! <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, you, you gotta have fun sometime. You just can't sit around and do work all the time. That would be kind of unproductive to your sanity. <laughs> uh, I, I, oh, you're kind of repeating yourself, aren't you? Oh, man. You know what? You know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> As if you're gonna repeat yourself. I'm going over to Neki's Revenge. And, uh, I actually got the name of the other Neki, uh, Neki wrong. It's, it was called Master Neki, and this is Master Neki Sr. And, uh, you know what I said? Every time you hit him, he throws more nuts than before. I just knew that at, at, at the very first hit, I could just jump right up to him. 
because yeah, I, just, I know the patterns, I've played this game many times over, and here comes a 5 nut barrage, and I jump on the tire, and then I win. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I know you tried your best, but your patterns are just too easy. Just far too easy. Gang, wait, did I? Yeah, I got that exclamation point on the last stage. Gang Plank Galleon is the final stage of which we meet up with King K. Rule, which is probably the silliest boss in the game. Just jump over his crown, which will actually hurt you for some reason. He does one run, jump over his crown, and then he's gonna do two runs, one faster than the other. It just kind of, sort of, kind of like the aggressive I increases of other bosses in a way that you got to kind of get used to the patterns of. Once you get used to the patterns, it is a piece of pie. <laughs> I mean, this is really the final boss. It is the hardest of the bosses, I guess, but not not that hard. I find it easiest to dodge those uh, cannonballs when you're right by that mast. Is that because you're like standing right here, and this is like the perfect alignment for dodging the cannonballs when they go by? Like you see that? <laughs> you just gotta run past them at the at the earliest possible opportunity when you can. And yeah, see, look how easy that is. <laughs> and you won't get hit by the back one. And you notice that I am saving my Diddy for the future just in case, because Diddy's got the more nimbleness. But they both do the same amount of damage. So don't worry about it or anything like that. That is going to be three waves of cannonballs. As you know, it gets more and more intense. Even though, it's, well, you know, it's not all that intense. <laughs> Alright, get that crown throwing. Whee! And victory is mine! Woo! I beat the game! Woo! <laughs> and the credits! The game was made by these people. I did not make it. Uh, what? Uh, this doesn't sound right. What is? Uh oh, question mark. Uh oh, question mark. I don't. I don't like the question mark. What is this craziness? Uh oh, it's going back. It's panning back. Oh, he's still got life in him. Duck. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, it's phase three, and he does the same jumps, and then he does tighter jumps. Which aren't that difficult. <laughs> and he does this larger jumps, tighter jumps, and even tighter jumps than these. Yes, he's doing his absolute best to take me down, but it's just not working. <laughs> now I won! <laughs> Woo! Victory goes to the monkeys! Well done, Ducky, my boy. You know, thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no good cramlings. You've made an old man proud. <laughs> oh, and look at your horde. I think you'll be in for a surprise. Okay. What a player you are, Ducky, my lad. You've beaten the cramlings. <coughs> It found absolutely everything. You're nearly as good as I used to be. <laughs> so it's got to have those little little quips in there. My horn is back. I can now gorge myself on bananas for all of eternity. And we get to see all the names of the critters coming up here. And this is where I got the names of the critters from. Yeah, the, the names you'll see aren't really spelled what you would expect them to be spelled as. I mean, yes, those are, are like Neki and Z Army and Zinger are spelled, but I'm talking about like the Kremlings and stuff like that. You know, the crocodile critters and whatnot. Because you'll see it there. Well, oh, there's a dash in his name. Well, I, I didn't mention Mini Dash Neki. I just said Mini Neki. <laughs> Yeah, bite size. Oh, you know that fish, especially in the ye ol onslaughts <laughs> in certain levels. It was good times. Well, these guys are spelled normally. That's that is what you would expect of their spelling, I think. Oh, jeez! No, 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 no! Aha! Take that! <laughs> I like those little touches on the enemy showings in Donkey Kong games. See, Critter spelled with a K. Remember that? Clump spelled with a K. Crash spelled with a K. Yes, also Clash. 
<laughs> See, it's not a pattern. Yep, yep, yep. That is what they tend to do in the Donkey Kong Country games. Oh, and I forgot to mention Crash's name when I went through the um, minecart level in the games. Didn't I? Didn't I? Hmm. Oh, and there's Master Nucky. Yes, as I was saying, I corrected the name and whatnot. Really naughty. Not that naughty, really. It's just pretty easy. <laughs> in fact, none of the bosses I had trouble with. It was pretty embarrassing, including you, King K. Rule. Alas, alas. I wonder what the K stands for. Could it be Kremlin? Who knows? Who knows? I just know that we're gonna get a names of the buddies as well, which we kind of already went through as well. Winky, a faithful frog that can jump on and practically everything. It is pretty awesome. And Squawks, only seen in one level this game. Oh no! No, not not quite, Cranky. Not quite. You'll get your turn. Oh, yeah. But what about Candy? She's gotta have it like a double. Oh, forget about it. I was hoping she'd have like a double. <sighs> well. Oh, wait. wait but donkey stopping? What could this mean? Oh! It is a cheer to the player. Oh, yeah. How's it going there? Eh? Look up there. That wasn't nice, did he? Oh! You deserve that. Although maybe that was a little too violent. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, now you're going a little overboard there. Aha, take that. <laughs> and, oh, oh, did you? Did you now? Oh, is that so? <laughs> Just gotta have those little extra insults for me, huh? Uh huh. It's kind of funny. I watched the tasks of this game, you know, tool assisted speed run, and someone did beat this game in under an hour and with one life. So technically, that beats this, that his run. But you know, it's a task, so maybe it doesn't count. But what I'm saying is that it does. It is indeed possible to beat this game in under an hour and on one life. <laughs> But anyway, as, as I was saying before, with those other quote-unquote credits, these are the people that made the game. I did not. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. And it was a fun redo, but, 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 there's still a couple of secrets and stuff and stuff that I'm gonna end up doing with post-commentary, because it's gonna be a lot more convenient that way, because I don't, I won't know how many tries it'll take me to do some of these secrets, so that just seems like the, the wisest investment of, uh, video editing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, see, it's made by Rare. Remember Rare, right? When they used to make the DK games? It was good times. Good times. I miss Rare. I miss Rare. Well, I guess they are on the Microsoft systems, but the Rare of today just isn't like the Rare of yesteryear. <laughs> and there we go. We're taken back to the title screen. Let's see our beautiful save file. Because, you know, we kind of went through a whole lot of stuff to get to that. Oh, yeah, 101%, or I should say 101 star. That is what I was looking for, and I'm pretty sure it took me longer than 2 hours and 49 minutes. I think. I mean, I could be wrong, but it just feels like it took longer than that. I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, there is your 101% completion, and now let's get on over to the secrets. All right, post commentary. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna start with the comments first. So uh, as you've seen at Oil Drum Alley, there's a Rambi down over here. Thank you very much. And over here at Poison Bomb, yeah, there's a little bit of on guard. Thank you too. <laughs> yeah, so this this is a spot that I was thinking of, I guess. And then over here, on guard token thing here, past this spot right there. Remember this? Remember this? Yep. Thank you as well. And a little bonus to that. Just take a look, see. Look at that. That is not intuitive in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now for some a little warps here. 
Uh, they can appear in virtually any level in Donkey Kong Country, though there's only seven of them. This one here in Minecart Madness takes you all the way over to the end. Look at that, there's a minecart waiting for you. And there's the exit. So that kind of kind of trivializes the level a little bit there, <laughs> and I might as well add in, I should say re-add in the stop and go station one here, because, you know, why not as long as I'm here for the sake of organization and whatnot? I do kind of flub this ending portion a bit here, though, but I, I do manage to do pretty well on it, aside from that one little touch. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm over at Millstone Mayhem, we got another one. This one's pretty obscure as you basically need Donkey Kong for it. But, well, you can set it up any Kong, but the thing is you need Donkey Kong to actually get in said warp barrel. But yeah, you get this tire and you gotta do like a cartwheel or something near the end to push the cartwheel over the gap. You need that extra boost of speed to do it. And then push it all the way back. Just don't get yourself in trouble with the critters. Okay, I know they're crush us, but you, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying critters as a general rule, but see, right up around here somewhere, Diddy can't do it, but Donkey Kong can. <laughs> yep, somewhere around there is a barrel that only Donkey Kong can enter, and it's right above there, and yeah, this puts you right next to the exit, well, near the exit. Now over here at Vulture Culture, this is like a super speed run of sorts. You gotta reach a certain section of three bananas within, say, uh, yeah, ten seconds or so. And look at that, there's an extra barrel right down there where Donkey Kong is looking, and only Donkey Kong can enter it. Look at this ridiculousness. I'm switching characters and it disappears when I switch to Diddy. <laughs> Isn't that dumb? Like, how it was supposed to find that, like, well, I, I mean, I guess it's possible if you're really speedrunning it and you just happen to be using Donkey Kong, but if you're speedrunning it using Donkey Kong, you're not really doing a speedrun because Diddy's the best choice for the speedrun. <laughs> anyway, Chief Top Town is the next warp barrel type place, and this one's really obscure. Um, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you might be able to tell there's something up directly above here. See that where I'm jumping? Well, you're going to need the power of that Neki, which I'm going to respawn here. There's a tire right up above there. You jump off that tire and you end up in a warp barrel. Yep, right over by letter G. And yes, I will dare to grab this. Yeah <laughs> Next one is over at Slip Slide Ride. Yeah, slip slide right. You might have actually seen this when I made the walkthrough part for it. Just leave at least one of those jumping critters there. You need Donkey Kong for this one again. You'll see why in just a sec. So if you don't have him, you gotta go off to that DK barrel. I'm just gonna kind of mess around here, waiting for him to get in position. And then I do the jump. Now I get up here. I look at the upper left corner of the screen. Do you see it? Do you see it? Blending in? There it is! <laughs> See, Diddy can't reach it, but Donkey Kong can. And this will poop you out over here. It's not that close to the end, but it is a pretty major level skip regardless. Because, yeah, you go, got to go through these portions here, and there's the moving uh, rope there. And then there's the arrow, and then you still got to climb up. So, yeah, there's still a good amount to do here. Whoop! <laughs> I don't know how I managed to do that, but still, it helps to get through the stage, I suppose. Over at Trick Track Trek, there's another one of those warps. And see this ledge right here? Go all the way over to the side with a rolling jump. Donkey or Diddy can do it. And there we go, you're all the way over to the exit. Isn't that spectacular? Now, Jungle Hygiene says a super secret that has two blue, bu uh, blue balloons. You gotta take Rambi up over here then jump off of Rambi at the top of your jump to get on top of a tire, and then jump off that tire to get into a barrel, which will shoot you out and give you two blue balloons. And here's another super secret blue balloon segment, which will probably take a lot of tries, and is probably not even worth it. <laughs> but basically it's another speed run, similar to the warp at Vulture Culture, in that you've got to get to a certain ledge as fast as you can, and yes, I am skipping as much as I can think of skipping, although I could have skipped a little bit at the beginning there, um, at that first barrel by going, by shooting upper and right, but whatever, whatever, I'm fine with it as long as I make it. <laughs> you don't have to have a perfect run, you just have to be pretty quick. See, I skipped that one there, and then there's the blue balloon, but it's going to take so many lives to do that, it's probably not even worth it. <laughs> 
But yeah, it took me many, many attempts to do it, but I got ya a run of it on camera. Next up is, you need to have just one of the Kongs here, and press A button there, and you'll warp over to a warp barrel over at Orangutan Gang. The, there, apparently there's other ones in the game like that, but this is the only one that I really could find offhand. Um, but yeah, it's just the thing of that you need to have only one Kong in order to run over the correct spot, and then you'll be warped way ahead to some other level where, say, a bonus area would take you to yeah, after you complete the bonus area. It's I'm, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or not. It, it may very well be, but I, I don't know why that would be... A, a glitch of all things there of all places so I'm pretty sure it's probably something like something the designers put in to speed ahead whenever it would be convenient for the development and now for some codes on the intro press down Y down down Y as fast as you can it took me a couple tries to do that and you'll be able to practice and play any bonus stage of the critters that you want in this case I'm gonna show you a little secret that I kept forgetting to show you on the expresso stage if you take her over the top on the left side yeah there's a whole cubby hole here with a bunch of tightly placed expresso tokens which is probably a pretty efficient way to go actually rather than trying to go over to the right the next one is the select erase game and then hit Darby Day, get it? Dar you know, down A R B Y, down A Y, and then you press select to change the songs, and it's like it's a music test type thing. Pretty cool to listen to the tunes throughout the game, and yeah, it always flashes black when you press select there. It's just just something that happens. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take you over to another code once I show you a couple songs here. Soon enough, there we go. <laughs> 50 lives. Select the race game, then press B A R R A L. Obviously, it's barrel, but misspelled because you know they don't, they don't. There's no E button, and then just go back to any save file, and there you go. Yeah, you got 50 lives. <laughs> That's a nice way to start your game file if you're kind of low on lies is you know you reset the five whenever you start but yeah the bad buddy code is literally bad buddy um when you do a team game when you after entering this code here uh you got you can press select to switch between the characters even when you're not in control of the character hence the nickname bad buddy for the code and uh, remember to only highlight erase game, not select erase game. It's a different, it's a different dealio for this code than it is for the other ones that have select erase game. See, I'm only using one controller here, but yet I'm still able to switch between the characters with any without any trouble. And sure enough, this is going to lead to probably some tiffs in your living room gaming corner, or something like this. Yes, yes. <laughs> So, with this game over end screen that I'm finally able to show, I'm gonna end off the walkthrough here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough.